Good morning, students. This is the topic for today, midpoint. And I, I will ask you to take notes about this, this uh, topic. Okay, we have for today midpoint and we have also endpoint. All right, so let's start. Okay, if you have a two points, let's say that you have A and you have B, those will have coordinates for the X and for the Y axis. Remember that the X axis is the horizontal line in the plane and the Y axis is the vertical line in the same plane. Okay, so to find the two coordinates of, an a, of a midpoint, which is X and Y, we should use this formula, okay? We should use this formula that is a X1 plus X2 divided by two comma for y is y1 plus y2 divided by 2. Okay, and when you use these formulas, you're going to get a couple of coordinates. One is for x and the other for y. Okay, and this, this uh, little numbers right here, 1 and 2, those are referring to the first point, which is a. x1 is from this point. x2 is from this other point. y one is for the first point and y2 is for the second point okay so what we are going to do is just uh, find those midpoints okay or the coordinates uh, of those mid, mid midpoints sorry okay so starting with the first example uh, find the midpoint between four comma negative three and uh, negative two comma negative one okay so something that is uh, super easy to do, okay, in this case, let's use the this pen a little bit to write, okay. So as you can see, is we need to make an addition of the two x coordinates, which is four plus four is the, for the first one, and then you have negative two negative 2 okay this is and this should be divided by 2 okay 4 plus minus 2 is 4 minus 2 okay and then we need to divide by 2 4 minus 2 is 2 divided by 2 is 1 okay so as you can see here is the first coordinate 1 what about y okay let me uh, clear that screen okay now what about a uh, y as you can see the value is two okay let's check so you have negative three plus minus negative one everything divided by two okay this is negative three minus one divided by 2 and this is negative 4 divided by 2 and this is negative 2 okay so this is the answer for that okay negative 2 okay this is one way to find the midpoint I mean we are going to use the same over and over but sometimes we can use the graph we can use the graph just to give us a better understanding of this okay if you check this example this is example number two find the midpoint between the two points what points the first and the second let's call them a and b a and b so a is located right here in zero zero for the x-axis and three for the y-axis just here okay and b which is the second point is located 